from the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Now what we have here is a pretty solid section of cuprite with a dusting of Kasakala across it. I'd expect to find some malachite associated. I don't quite see any here yet. So we're going to look, let's have a holistic view of the specimen. So a sideways view, the, you'll see there is crystallization of sorts. Now with with strong, intense, uh, uh, with a light burst, actually, you'd have this specimen appearing a cherry red. From a thickness point of view, this could actually be used by cabot, uh, cabbers or facetors to, to facet or cab the, the cuprite. I imagine that cuprite is not a, a very durable uh, or not a very hard gemstone, so perhaps uh, not so much for faceting, but maybe more for cabbing. Lovely dusting of Krasakala. Good thickness here. Can be worked on, but as is, a pretty nice specimen as well. And crystallization in, in sections like this. And general size-wise, we're looking at uh, 2 inches plus edge to edge. Across, maybe just over an inch. Height-wise, maybe just on 2 inches. All the way from the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer, especially on this section I find rather appealing. There you can see that crystallization happening as we go down, running across there. And it's a solid, solid section of uh, cuprite.